So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to make this smooth and dynamic looking slide within PowerPoint. So then the first step is you're going to want to just uh, select everything and delete it. Then insert a shape. You can use any shape you want, but for this, I'll just use a rounded rectangle. I'll make the shape somewhat like that. Rotate it. Maybe I can make it a little bit wider. I'll rotate it a little bit further too. Position it any way you like. Um, then hold down control to duplicate it and, and just click and drag on it to duplicate it, right? And you can resize, resize this one since it's, the, it's supposed to be the middle one. So I'll just make it a little bit larger and duplicate this one again position it like that and there you have these three shapes maybe we can make these ones a little bit smaller and extend this big one in the middle so you have these three shapes select all three of them right click and click on group or you can just press ctrl g to group them now once you have your group you can right click it and click on format shape now you're going to want to open the line drop down menu and click on no line because we don't want that. And for the fill, we'll click on picture or texture fill and we'll select any picture you want. Uh, if you have copied a picture, this uh, clipboard option won't be grayed out. You can just click on the clipboard and it will insert the picture you've copied or you can click on insert and you can import a picture from a file on your computer stock images online pictures or icons so i'll just click on online pictures for now let's say um let's go with a car and i like this picture of a mustang so i'll insert that and as you can see the image has been fitted to the shapes um of course it is looking a little bit distorted and if your image is doing this click on I'll picture as texture and you'll be able to fit it with custom dimensions. So as you can see, it's gotten a lot more zoomed in. So firstly, I'll center it and I'll zoom it down to maybe 5% on both. Okay, that's a little bit too small. Let's go with 15%. That's looking a little bit better, but you can see that this is looping the picture, picture here. So either you can... Um, offset your picture like this uh, using the X and Y coordinates but sometimes the picture won't exactly fit on the slide it might be a little too small in which case you can click the mirror type and click on both horizontal and vertical click on both so it will give you this seamless looking ending over here now once you're done positioning your image you can click out of that group and insert another shape uh, this one will be a, a rectangle you're gonna want to make it slightly large um, rotate this image to somewhat match the rotation of the um, shapes you've made earlier extend it a little bit make it a little bit wider then right click and send to back now this will essentially form the background of this slide. Like it'll make a little bit of a shade to avoid the static white throughout. Um, and you might want to right click format shape. Uh, of course, remove the line. Um, it just overall looks a bit better. You can of course extend this so it doesn't end on the slide um, and increase the transparency to your liking. So I'll go with something around 60%. Then you can go and insert a text box. Say I want a text box here for the title. You can select your font. I'll go with impact uh, and a font size around, I'll say around 30. Um, and since this is a Mustang, I'll just type in Mustang. Maybe we can make, a, make it a little bit bigger. And then insert another text box underneath this, uh, which will form the content of your slide. And of course, uh, you can type 
anything. You can even include some bullet points. So say you have all this text here and you've got all this figured out, then you want to uh, click this, then sh hold shift and click the content as well as the background, right click and click on group again, and make sure to send this to the back once again so it doesn't cover your picture. Then you want to go to the animations panel and select fly in. And for the text, and the background, you want to bring this from the left, like that. And for this group, select the same effect called fly in, and this will be from the right. Now, as you can see, it is coming together, uh, but it looks very static and it is coming in one at a time and upon clicking, and we don't want that. So fix that, open the animations pane, and select both of these by holding shift and clicking, then right click and click on effect options, then go to timing and click on width previous and change the duration to one second or two seconds, uh, depending on how, whatever you prefer. You then go to effect and make smooth end all the way to one second. And you can see that has finished our slide and it looks amazing. So there you have it. That's how you can make this dynamic and smooth slide for your presentation in no time. If you did find this video useful or helpful, then make sure to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more tutorials and tips for PowerPoint presentation and presentations in general on this channel. Stay tuned.